Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where students and staff practice good citizenship by helping others in our community. For the past few years, students from Nelson Elementary and Denby High Schools have joined forces to make a positive contribution to their community. Last school year, the citizenship-focused students decided to assist Five Loaves Food Pantry on Old Courthouse Way. After collecting donations at each of their schools, the students purchased $200 worth of food items at a nearby grocery store. They personally delivered the food to Five Loaves Food Pantry where their gift was weighed and sorted. Brother Tim Lucan from Livingstone Monastery thanked the students for their donation and spoke with them about how important their gifts were to the food pantry's mission of serving the hungry on the Virginia Peninsula. Brother Lucan educated the students about hunger and homelessness and used math to illustrate how much a can of food is worth to a food pantry to multiply their impact. The students even helped unload a shipment of food from local businesses in preparation for one of the food pantry's daily distributions to those in need. This hands-on experience allowed the Nelson and Denby students to directly help families in their community while learning about the gift of generosity. <laughs> students at an Achievable Dream Academy put their big ideas into action as they raised money for charity. Inspired by the book Cleo Edison Oliver, Playground Millionaire, Students at an Achievable Dream Academy raised money for a range of charities through their own entrepreneurial efforts. During the culminating event for Virginia Reads One Book, Spring Family Night invited families to support the students' efforts to dream big through their classroom businesses. Each grade selected a charity to support and shadowed the book's storyline by creating a passion project to raise funds. During the evening event, families could purchase refreshing lemonade, chips with salsa or guacamole, tasty treats, or custom artwork, all provided by the young businessmen and women. Combined, kindergarten through fifth grade raised over $350 to support animal welfare, cure childhood cancer, and assist local families in need. Almost 500 people attended the Academy's Spring Family Night, helping the students realize how powerful their ideas can become and how their efforts and creativity can benefit others in our community. Every year, thousands of Boy Scouts reach the pinnacle of their scouting careers by earning the rank of Eagle Scout. One of the major requirements is completion of an Eagle Scout service project allowing scouts to demonstrate leadership while contributing to their community. Noah Wolf, with Troop 158 and a student at Minchville High School, selected Epps Elementary as the site for his Eagle Project. Noah wanted to do something for the environment, so his Eagle Project consisted of building a pollinator garden, installing birdhouses, beautifying the front of the school, and creating an outdoor learning environment for the students at Epps. With a grant from the Chesapeake Bay Trust, along with donations and discounted supplies from local businesses, Noah organized a team of scouts and adult volunteers to complete his project. Michelle McLean's third grade class and Ecology Club members assisted Noah with planting and installing the donated birdhouses. Volunteers with Virginia Master Naturalists educated the students about the native plants and the NNPS Department of Plant Services oversaw the entire project. The completed service project allows students at EPS to make scientific observations right outside their classrooms, while maintaining a space that promotes a healthy environment for beneficial pollinators. <laughs> As the summer season winds down, the new school year is coming up quickly. If your child isn't registered for Newport News Public Schools, do it now. Children who are five by September 30th are eligible to enter kindergarten. And if you're enrolling your child for the first time, the Commonwealth of Virginia has some specific guidelines for you to follow. Parents and guardians must provide a certified birth certificate, immunization records, physical exam records, and proof of legal residence. 
You'll need to register your child at the school he or she will be attending. To determine which school your child will attend, go to the registration page at nnschools.org and use the NNPS School Zone Finder. While you're there, you can also download a checklist along with all of the forms you'll need for registration. And please remember, a child who will be six years old on or before September 30th must attend school. <laughs> with students out of school for the summer, families have an enriching opportunity to create memorable moments together. And Hampton Roads is rich in fun educational experiences for family members of all ages. Getting outdoors to explore the variety of parks in our area is a wonderful option offering a range of activities and learning opportunities. With nature centers, animal exhibits, hiking and biking trails, a variety of watercraft to rent, geocaching, wildlife education areas, playgrounds, campsites, and picnic areas, our parks are packed with enough adventure to keep families busy all summer long. Because of our geographic location, Many of our parks offer significant historical insights dating back to the Revolutionary and Civil Wars. And trips to the park are easy on the wallet, since most activities are free and rentals are reasonably priced. So make sure and plan a trip this summer to some of the great parks in our area to get away from the fast-paced daily grind while encouraging your family to enjoy the great outdoors. <laughs> As you prepare for the new school year, Virginia's sales tax holiday can help your family save money on school supplies, clothing, footwear, emergency preparedness items, and certain energy efficient products. Purchases of qualifying school supplies selling for $20 or less per item, and purchases of qualifying clothing and footwear selling for $100 or less per item will be exempt from sales tax. At the same time, a handful of retailers may offer additional sales and other items with no sales tax. Deals can be found in stores and even online. So take advantage of Virginia's sales tax holiday to help save money on some essential shopping. And don't forget to use any gift cards you might have laying around. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching.